Hey guys, so I'm in the car waiting on my um, mom and um, I decided I'd make a little video and this video I want to talk about a little bit is um, the Anonymous Hacking Group. I've been so interested in finding out more about the Anonymous Hacking Group, especially since I've seen a few videos on the internet with the Anonymous Hacking Group and um, they essentially, I heard, started off as a fortune, um, a fortune uh, you know it was just some sort of fun thing on 4chan and basically because 4chan was um, allowed people to post anonymously um, the idea of uh, the anonymous hacktivism, hacktivism group uh, came about and so it started off a little bit sketchy I would have to say and as I say this is not to offend anonymous in any way and neither am I associated in any way with the anonymous hacking group um, it's just what I've learned so far from hearing about Anonymous and so essentially it started off being a lot of um, trolling and whatnot on the internet for those of you who don't know what trolling is trolling is where people post stuff and they post it to annoy others etc but then it became more of a revolution in this sense because a lot of people from all around the world um, of course have issues and these issues are normally addressed by public agencies for example like the government etc and so a lot of people tend to have different views from the government and so uh, different views from different corp multi multinational corporations etc and some of them don't agree with the decisions being made by such these, these large organizations etc and that's how anonymous came into being because anonymous wanted to sort of level the playing field at times a lot of the times though the question really that is raised is whether these groups are terrorist groups or not and it's a really fine line i want to say because a lot of people refer to hacktivism as terrorism etc and they may be right but they also may be wrong and i'm just going to bring two sides of the story i'm not going to take any side but i'm going to say this different people will have different opinions as i have learned in the past especially in the past three years different people have different opinions on things and so one person might let's say let's say we're talking about voting one person might want to vote for trump and one person might want to vote for sanders bernie sanders etc i don't know if he's still in thing i'm just giving you the example and so there may be groups of people with different opinions so when you really look at these uh the, the anonymous group the anonymous group is basically a group with a different opinion and there are other um hacking groups out there as far as i know that will also have different opinions in fact there's generally no two hacking groups that will will, will see eye to eye all the time the difference is is that anonymous puts itself in a bigger category i would have to say than just hacking it's not just about hacking for them it's about ideology it's about revolution it's about um passion um and i want to say that in the sense that polit okay for example politicians may be interested in their in in greed and they in in in, in uh, put, making things better for themselves maybe not for the people all the time and anonymous tries to equalize the playing field at some point in time the question is though whether this is considered to be of a criminal nature or not and in a lot of the circumstances as you can see the term hacking and hacktivism hacktivism is related to you know criminal or illegal um, operations so there's two sides of a story and so you know i have to be very careful as well which side uh people I, I, at least me i agree with because there's one side where okay if there's a if there's <clears throat> some large corporation for example that is messing with um people's insurance for example and then Anonymous sees that and they say, well, look, the poor people are suffering. And Anonymous goes and does its thing, whether it is legal or illegal or not. Then they are sort of trying to equalize the playing field where the law should have equalized the playing field in the first place. So then the other question comes in, is the law effective at resolving um, 
travesties that that occur in 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 normal life and so that's why i believe now a lot of the anonymous people they get together because they they tend to be they tend to want to fix things uh albeit on their own opinions so that could also be a challenge the fact that they want it their way uh, but they're trying to fix the wrongs or what they see as being wrong so a lot of people as i say say that they are criminals but the question is then who really are the criminals because then if it is a response to something that has happened then they may not always be criminals and um, the true the real criminals will be hold on so the real question is how much of us are really good people in general doing the right things because if we do the right things then you know that will solve the problems.